Hi everybody, welcome back. So, before we get into it, just really have to shout out and thank everybody. We've reached uh, 101 subscribers. I never really thought that would ever happen. Uh, it makes kind of putting in the effort to get these videos done uh, for for the new guys that are looking to get some information on going long, long. Uh, so look, I, I hope you are getting something from it. And uh, please, as usual, continue to uh, leave comments, reach out on all the platforms to get in touch. So before we get into the day, a little update on how I'm getting on. Uh, anybody that's been following the channel will know I picked up a calf injury a couple of weeks ago. Uh, 12 days without running now, so highs and lows. But uh, getting out, doing what I can do. Using the time to get some hiking in, uh, get my old hiking muscles working for the Delirious West in February, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, high intensity or high volume training. Uh, deliberately left this one to later on in kind of the training, closer to the race. In my uh, Ironman days, I used to train with high intensity the last 10 weeks of a 30 week building block. Now, that has me questioning that theory uh, for a 100 mile or a 200 mile race. Is it more beneficial to train high volume, lots and lots of kilometers in, miles, whatever you're working, lots and lots of Ks in the legs, or is it better going with high intensity strength building that strength in your muscles getting them fast twitch muscles going uh, so before we get into it for kind of the the newer viewers that maybe isn't isn't quite sure what's he talking about high intensity high volume what's high intensity look like high intensity very briefly is uh, whenever you kind of go above your your zone two which looks like heavy breathing uh, your body then also goes from starts burning fat till it goes to burning fat and carbs if you go really high intensity like flat out sprinting you're just burning uh, carbs at that point you're taking a big toll on your muscles uh, sprinters quite often do a lot of high intensity triathletes uh, marathon runners that are aiming for fast times will use high intensity training so there is a benefit and a place for high intensity training no question my question uh, that I'm trying to answer for myself more so is is it useful in training for a 200 mile or a 100 mile race and I suppose might be controversial again only my thoughts but it depends on who you are as a person uh, what time you have as a person you know at what stage you are in your training uh, you know whether you're brand new to running or whether you're been doing it for years whether you've done high intensity training in the past whether you're carrying an injury all these things are gonna have to be considered but uh, what I would say is I have always went with the the thing of training specifically for that race that I'm doing so if it was an Ironman I was aiming for a 10 hour marathon or for a 10 hour Ironman uh, I would train specifically in them zones uh, a bit of intensity to sharpen the, the fast twitch if it's a hilly course uh, train on hills all them things make it as much race specific as I can so I start looking at a, a 200 mile race and I'm thinking where am I gonna need that high intensity training am I gonna need to be in that zone 2 plus kind of 3 for long periods of time 
No, my plan this year is to try and stay as close to zone one as off as much as possible. So really easy effort, uh, low intensity. So that's where I've kind of come from the, the view of kind of more low, invent, low intensity with a higher volume getting them legs used to being out there, getting used to constantly going, getting the mind used to constantly moving, will be more beneficial to me than the high intensity. Don't get me wrong, uh, I have used, done some high intensity workouts while I was uh, struggling for time. Great way to get your legs feeling fatigued. Uh, if you are short on time, but if you have the time, low intensity would certainly be my recommendation uh, with a high volume. Now, the uh, the benefits of the low intensity with the high volume for me is purely that we are going to be out there for a very long time. Uh, it's not like a marathon, it's not even like a 50k or a, maybe even a 100k you can potentially need some some high intensity work. I ran a 50k earlier on in the year and PB'd and uh, definitely had been training a bit of high intensity up to it. But pretty much this last 20 weeks, especially the last two weeks with this injury, has been all low intensity. And that's for two reasons. For me, I'm very much the type of person that struggles to switch from one to the other. I know I've always pushed too hard in races of this distance. Uh, and it's always bit me in the ass towards the end. So this year I've definitely taken the approach of trying to slow things down. Uh, to try and go further faster, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, but again, it really comes down to to you, and I, and I just wanted to highlight, highlight, maybe even get the thoughts of what other people are doing. Whether they're, I know there's the 80, 20 percent rule out there, where some people say that you should be going 80 percent of your training should be at high volume and 20 percent high intensity. That's fine for, as I say, some of the shorter ultras. For the uh, 100 miler, do people still use that? If you use it, let us know. If you're having good success with it, please leave comments. Uh, either on the Facebook page or the YouTube page. And uh, tell us kind of some of the ways that you kind of, you go about your training. I don't want to make this video too long because I could go into heart rate zones and probably will some other day. Uh, heart rate zones and training, I'll probably leave it to after the race, but certainly there's a lot of information out there. I do encourage everybody to go and, go and look at it. Changing it now towards the end. 12 weeks left, getting close. Uh, is it worth changing now at this point? What I would be just saying is anybody that's doing high intensity training, very careful, 12 weeks left, pick up an injury at this point, it's very close to it. And I know whenever I was doing my triathlon days, it was kind of the last 10 weeks that I would be adding the high intensity. But certainly as I'm tapering the last four weeks, if there's no injury problems, I will add a little bit of high intensity at that point just to have the sharpness there so look hope you've got something from this video again uh, please don't be frightened to leave a leave a message a comment and uh, let me know how your training is going for whatever race you're doing and thanks for watching guys